Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this interesting problem. We have to prove that cot square pi by 9 plus cot square 2 pi by 9 plus cot square 4 pi by 9 equals to 9. Now when I saw this solution, I just thought I will try to find out a solution from the internet and I was unable to find out not much solutions or explanations. So I just thought let me try it on my own instead of following the solution given by somebody and try to understand it. So just I thought with the limited fundamental knowledge whatever I have can I solve this particular problem or not. And coincidentally on the same day I was explaining the kids about the problems related to a 60 minus A 60 plus A. So it's a coincidence that I just applied that knowledge here and I was able to solve this problem. So the approach to solve this problem is convert this into degrees cot square 20 plus cot square 40 plus cot square 80. Take A equals to 20 then it will become cot square A plus cot square 60 minus A plus cot square 60 plus A. Now convert that into tan simplify that whatever you are getting we know that tan 3a is root 3 so tan square 3a is 3 whatever the answer we are getting can we get that in the form of 27 by tan square 3i then we can substitute tan square 3i equals to 3 so 27 by 3 will be 9 so that was how I was able to solve the problem and I haven't seen that this type of solution earlier so I just thought of sharing this problem with you so let's go ahead and jump into the problem and try to solve this cot square pi by 9 plus cot square 2 pi by 9 plus cot square 4 pi by 9 equals to 9. Now let us change the radians to degrees. We will have cot square 20 degrees plus cot square 40 degrees plus cot square 80 degrees. We have to prove that it is equals to 9. Now if you look at carefully if you take 20 degrees as a 40 degrees can be written as 60 minus a and 80 degrees can be written as 60 plus a. Now we can change that into tan we can write it as 1 by tan square a a is 20 degrees so 3a equals to 60 degrees and tan 3a is root 3 or tan square 3a is 3 that is that is actually what we are going to use to solve this problem the tan square 3a equals to 3. Okay, we now we change the LHS into tans, tan, tan theta. So, we will have 1 by tan square a plus 1 by tan square 60 minus a plus 1 by tan square 60 plus a. We know that tan of a plus b is tan a plus tan b by 1 minus tan b and tan a minus b is tan a minus tan b by 1 plus tan a tan b and we know tan 60 equals to root 3. So, we substitute we get 1 plus root 3 tan a whole square divided by root 3 minus tan a whole square that is cot square 60 minus a. Similarly tan square 60 plus a 1 by how we can write it as 1 minus root 3 tan a whole square divided by root 3 plus tan a whole square. You can see that same terms here and there and plus and minus that means certainly we can do little bit of simplification there. So leave the 1 by tan square a as it is and try to take the LCM here and see what happens. We have a minus b into a plus b a square minus b square. So we will get 3 minus tan square a whole square. And in the numerator part when we try to simplify we will get root 3 plus 4 tan a plus root 3 tan square a whole square plus again when you take the other term when you multiply them you will have root 3 minus 4 tan a plus root 3 tan a whole square. Now this seems to be little bit complicated but actually if you take root 3 plus root 3 tan square a as a then we have a plus b whole square plus a minus b whole square here. So we have a equals to root 3 plus root 3 tan a square a root 3 tan square a and b equals to 4 tan a. So what we have here now is actually a plus b whole square plus a minus b whole square which can be written as 2 into a square plus b square. Now our a is root 3 plus root 3 tan square a remember that and b equals to 4 tan a. So the problem now becomes 1 by tan square a plus the denominator will stay as it is 3 minus tan square a whole square. When you come to the numerator we can just write it as 2 into a square. What is our a? Root 3 plus root 3 tan square a whole square. That is our 
square tan square yeah i forgotten it maybe i'll fix it in the next step let us see plus 4 tan a whole square now let's simplify that that will be 1 by tan a plus 2 into denominator will not change we'll just leave it as 3 minus tan square a whole square 2 into 3 into 1 plus tan square a whole square yes now i fixed it plus 16 tan square a now let us simplify this numerator part what we have to work upon so let us see that 1 by tan square a plus the denominator will not change if you understand if you take the lcm of these two we we are getting actually 3 tan a minus tan cube a whole square that's a good news for us because tan 3a is 3 tan a minus tan cube a so we are slowly getting there so that's what we have to understand so we have 6 into 1 plus tan square a whole square plus 32 tan square a let us simplify this now that will be 1 by tan square a plus the denominator will stay as it is numerator is what needs a simplification so let us do that 6 into tan to the power of 4a 6 plus 6 to the power of 6 plus 6 into tan to the power 4a plus 12 tan square a that is 2a we term there plus whatever the 32 tan square a there already we just add it and simplify this now let's go ahead and take the lcm for the whole thing so our denominator will be tan square a into 3 minus tan square a whole square which is nothing but 3 tan 3 tan a minus tan cube a whole square in the denominator so we already got part of tan square 3 a there the remaining part we have to get there so let us try to simplify this now when we do that we will get 9 plus we take 3 minus tan square a whole square that will give us 9 plus tan to the power 4 a minus 6 tan square a plus whatever we got remaining terms from the other side simplify that we will have 6 tan to the power of 6 a plus 45 tan to the power of 4 a plus 9 divided by tan square a into 3 minus tan square a whole square now let's stop here and see what actually we got here and how to proceed from we need to get our this particular expression in terms of this we already have the denominator part numerator part we have to get this as 27 into 1 minus 3 tan square a whole square and we see that we have tan to the power of 4 term but there is no tan power 6 a term so our logic is now just go to tan square 3a and write it down from there take the tan power 6a term and substitute that with the remaining terms so that we can get into this format and this is the last step what we will get then we can write it as 27 by 3 equals to 9 so let's go ahead with the next step we know that tan 3a equals to tan 60 that's equals to root 3 that means tan square 60 equals to 3 but tan 3a is equals to 3 tan a minus tan cube a divided by 1 minus 3 tan square a now what we have here in our expression is tan power 6a so let us square it on both sides so that we can remove the square root also also we get a term in terms of tan power 6a so what we have now is 3 tan a minus tan cube a by 1 minus 3 tan square a whole square equals to 3 let us simplify this and try to get a tan power 6a in terms of the remaining terms so that we can just go to our LHS and substitute that in place of tan power 6a now we have tan power 6a equals to thirty three tan to the power of four a minus twenty seven tan square a plus three. Let's go ahead and substitute that 
in place of tan power 6 a so we'll have 6 into 33 tan to the power of 4 a minus 27 tan square a plus 3 divided by plus whatever the remaining terms already left out that is 45 tan to the power 4 a plus 9 divided by 3 tan a minus tan cube a whole square which is the denominator is nothing but 3 tan a minus tan cube a whole square. So we already have the denominator part only the numerator part is where we have to simplify. So we already did the hard work we change the tan power 6 a to tan power 4 a and the remaining terms. So we just got now in the numerator 243 tan to the power 4 a minus 162 tan square a plus 27 divided by 3 tan a minus tan cube a whole square. Now we can write the numerator as 27 into 3 tan a minus tan cube a whole square. It's 27 into 27 into 1 minus 3 tan square a whole square divided by 3 tan a minus tan cube a whole square. Now that's the last step what we thought we will be writing yellow. We have written it already earlier. So that is 27 by 3 that's equals to 9. So that's how I was able to prove that cot square pi by 9 plus cot square 2 pi by 9 plus cot square 4 pi by 9 equals to 9. If you have seen this solution earlier and you have or you have any other alternative solution, please do just let me know in the comments. Thanks for your time and support. Bye for now. I'll catch you once again with another interesting example. Till then, keep smiling and sharing. Bye.